there's still so much that needs to be done. Capitol Police Chief Tom Manger, just hours after taking command, joined us to talk top priorities for his first week ahead. I think the, the recommendations that have to do with training, uh, with policy, with equipment, um, with staffing, uh, those, those four, and, and there's a lot under each one of those categories. He's talking about recommendations made by retired Lieutenant General Russell Honore and a Senate report on January 6th failures. Blueprints, Manger calls them, on how to rebuild. The chief tells us hiring new officers is especially important, a challenge after more than 70 officers left since the insurrection. Do you think that people are going to want to come here? I do, uh, uh, because I'll tell you that's what made me want to come here is watching what happened on January 6th. Um, I was on January 5th. I was very happy to be retired. I'd had a good career um, on January 6th. I wish I wish that I wasn't retired. And that's what inspired me to uh, to come back. I think with someone with my experience and my familiarization with law enforcement in the D.C. area, I thought I had something to offer to, to help. And I wasn't I wasn't interested in just coming back, you know, uh, anywhere. I wanted to come here. A more immediate challenge, funds drying up. Because of thousands of hours of overtime, Congress needs to fund Capitol Police next month or else furloughs may come. I, I've got to have faith that that the members of Congress are going to look at this and say, you know, we can't let these men and women down. On Capitol Hill, Mike Valerio, WUSA 9. No doubt you've seen Manger before. He's a familiar face in this area. He spent 27 years on the force of Fairfax County's police department, six of them as chief. Then he moved to lead Montgomery County's police department for another 15 years. When he left that job, the county executive praised his work on de-escalation training for officers. He's also been president of the major cities chiefs association, consulting with the Obama administration on policing and testifying before Congress.